uh, James Evil from BBC. Um, you were very, very young when Scotland was last in a major tournament, uh, so obviously you'll have no memories of France 98, but I would imagine you'll remember the hurt and the pain and the years of not qualifying. Yeah, definitely. I think for especially the players we've had over the past 23 years, uh, it's been a shame we've not been able to qualify, but we've got a great group here and a really, really strong squad and we've managed to go and do that and it's about putting a marker down now. Obviously, you arrived last night. Um, can you just kind of describe what the feeling was like at the moment in a the squad? Yeah, the camp's in a very good place now. Yeah, we had two days back home. Yeah, we came in, we got tested right away and sent to our rooms and thankfully we're back to negative. So, yeah, the camp's very good. Now. The, the morale was up, we trained this morning and we're in very high spirits. Um, there were a few question marks over the camp being in England, not Scotland. But that doesn't make any difference, does it, I would imagine? No, not at all. I think if you look at the facilities here, they're, they're top draw. Uh, but I think it's just about getting the, the lads together again, uh, getting some sessions under their belt and getting that real good feel, feel factor about the place. Uh, we've had it in Portugal and we've, we've, we've brought it to uh, Middlesbrough now. And I think that feel good factor is very obvious and, and it's something that it seems like Steve Clark has worked hard on with, with all of you because because of Scotland's track record of not qualifying for so many years, there's always been like a degree of negativity, but that just seems to have been dispelled now. Yeah, it's as if it's been completely wiped uh, since uh, the gaffers come in. He's done a great job. He's got, he's got his playing some some good football and I think you've seen that against uh, the Dutch uh, then against Luxembourg as well and I think we're unbeaten a good few games now so I think we've got a tournament in very high spirits and looking to progress. Just finally for me, um, I'm sure you saw and heard the boos before the England warm-up matches. Um, what were your thoughts on that and also are the Scotland squad planning to take a knee? Uh, I think the captain came out today and said we're going to take take uh, the stand. Uh, I do it at the club level, the Hibs, and I think it's just about everyone come together. Yeah, and if it were community and stamp like racism. Kevin, what has the goal for you uh, done for you in terms of your confidence and your belief in, ter in terms of trying to force you into this team? Yeah, of course, it's done the world of good, to be fair. Uh, I think as a striker, you come into a setup and you need to score as quick as possible to, to get noticed. And thankfully, I did that. Uh, I think it was, my, it was my second appearance as well for, for my country. So I'm glad to get off the mark very quick. Uh, but yeah, it's just it's, it's great for my confidence and it puts my it puts my thoughts in the, the gaffer's head. What are your expectations for what lies ahead in the next couple of weeks? Uh, I think for us as a squad, we're, we're, we're looking to get out the group group stage. Uh, I think we've got a great team. We've got some top players that are playing at the highest level. So I think uh, get out the group stage and we'll just see what happens there. From you personally, the fact that you you found an end in the last week. Do you feel that you can crack the starting line? Do you, do you feel that you can challenge um, London and Jay for, for a place in the starting line? I think that's just completely down to me now. Uh, I've got a good few sessions before the first game and every minute I'm on the pitch, I'm resting my country. So I need to uh, do well and catch a man's eye and hopefully chip him a few goals. We saw John Flett back with squad today, yeah. um, how, how good was it to have him back on the pitch and what's he had to deal with in the last week or so? Yeah, it's great. I feel like he's back. He's obviously had a tough time over in Portugal, uh, testing positive, so he's just been in his room ever since. And So we got a wee round of applause this morning when they come in for the, the boys, so yeah, it's, it's great to have him back. Well, was it, that was what the, the, the round of applause was, because we obviously saw you all gathering and it must have been quite hard for him and for you being separated over there. Yeah, definitely. I think obviously it's tough. He wants to come in and uh, start well and go for a contention place. And to get COVID in the first few days, it's obviously tough for him. But he's a strong character, so he'll definitely bounce back. And it was uh, good to do in training, so it's, it's good to have him back. Just to be in this environment, um, this camp, which could last for some weeks, depending on how you get on, how, how are you all going to switch off? What, what are the things that you can do behind the scenes to kind of just get a bit of downtime in, in this camp? Well, it's hard because obviously it's there's COVID rules, so you obviously still need to sit two metres away from each other and that, but I just think it's just, apart from training, you, you need to go and you, you just need to relax, really. We've got a tough few weeks coming up, there's going to be a lot of intense games and a lot of intense training sessions, so 
every opportunity you get, you need to rest and relax and uh, recover for the next day. Is this an experience like nothing you've ever had at all? And in some respects, is that, is, is that a bit of an adventure? Yeah, definitely. It's great, especially we, we came here yesterday and uh, Rob or the skipper bought us all like, gifts and that as well. Uh, so we, we all got a lot of box and there was, there was a lot of stuff in it. So I think it kind of made you realise that you are here, you are the Euros and it uh, started now. Can I ask what's in the box? <laughs> uh, there's Apple Watches, uh, earphones, there's a lot of stuff. And I think that's just credit to, to Rob Boy. He don't know if he's in back, so I think he's a guy who's a great captain, a great leader, and I think he's the best person to take us forward. Kevin, does this feel real now that you're here in the final camp? Yeah, it does. Uh, I think even coming here to facilities like this and obviously the skipper giving us gifts and that, I think it just makes you realise that you are here uh, in a major tournament uh, and we're all really excited for it.